Hi, welcome, welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time we did some back and forth between Romeo and Juliet, otherwise known as Bo and Penelope. There is feud between those two families. I think it's the Greys and the Brave Waters, I believe. We got into some more trouble with the law because of Bill, you know. Considering these guys are supposed to be my family, they don't tend to uh, be looking out for me that much. I'm joking. No. <laughs> I just always get in trouble with the law when I do missions with them. It's Micah, it's Bill. Charles is the only one who hasn't done me dirty. Shout out fun. We have another journal entry and I gave Arthur his new outfit, which I love the blue shirt, but the white shirt, I love. Oh my god, gosh. gosh. Door journal. Also, if you see this, it's my blanket. I'm cold. Lord of mercy. Okay, saw so an old church, found it interesting, not sure why. I swear I actually read that last time. Okay. Uh, what quests? What quests do we have to do? Leopold Strauss. Apparently, Strauss's missions are actually important to the story. So I guess we can go you know, do Mr. Leopold Strauss first, I guess. No, I don't need them. How long are you gonna keep up this lawman disguise? Do you know how many times you've asked me that, ma'am? I do not appreciate it. Ronan. Oh, it is Karen! You behave in there, Driscoll? Did that? I know Driscoll. Brush. Sir. Sure. <laughs> are Fly. The okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They they they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root. Just a couple. Uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it you. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat> Call me Arthur. Although, he, Arthur probably wouldn't like that, but I'm playing him, so I'm saying that he can. Ah! Herr Morgan, Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, He's and so not fat. for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an Strawberry? apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> Herr Strauss, I do not like doing stuff like that. You should know me by now. Okay. So it actually hasn't given me the waypoints. Do I just have to go and find them? Individuals that oh. Oh wait, no, yeah. That is what I was looking for. Why did you not show me it sooner? Gwen Hughes, I guess we can go. Do Gwen Hughes fast. Strawberry's really far away though. Where's Strawberry? Winning homes. Look how far away that is. I'm definitely gonna have to go to the post office or get the train, I guess, to go there. Cause I feel like it is too far otherwise. Is it weird that I say route? I think route is more of the American term. Root. 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 I don't know, is that just me? Oh no, track there. I just think saying route is so much better. It's probably not the correct terminology or pronunciation. But, I don't know. I also, apparently, I was speaking like with my friends the other day. And we were talking about like, you know, the shoes, Timberlands. And <laughs> I say like, oh, like Timberlands. And she's like, say that again? I'm like, Timberlands. She goes, 
that, that, that's not how you say it. I'm like, what? And she's like, it's Timberlands. And I'm like, it, it, it's Timberlands. Like, I've always said Timberlands. I don't know if it's just the way I pronunciate words or something. But I just, I don't know, Timberlands. That's so weird to me, Timberlands. Timberlands, because it's T-I-M-B-E-R-L-A-N-D-S, is it not? Or am I being dumb? Is this me? Maybe I'm being dumb, I don't know. Jesus! Don't look quite right. How am I meant to get in there? What's going on over here? Morning. Oh. Morning, partner. What y'all do? Oh, it's this guy again. Hello, mister. Hey. What do you want from hey, me this time? Again, Did sir? I give him money? I think I, I gave, gave him money. Oh. <laughs> I'm miserable. Because of the leg. Ah, oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah. It's a people. Yeah, a bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. Mm -hmm. I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, <laughs> I wouldn't know what day it was. Yeah, but you... Man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. Y'all are scaring me. I don't know if I like that. I feel like that is very dirty and I don't appreciate it. Mister? Good morning, friend. I ain't never gonna get the hang of this. Sir. Nice round here. I'm kind of new to these parts. How do, how do you expect? Oh, maybe I go up here. Dad don't care if it's pretty, right? Oh, wait, no. I think they're like just. Wait, I don't know. You want to Arthur, come on. That was hardly a fall. You've fallen down worse. When you start picking out a box for yourself, if you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, oh, I, I God. I just realized that. But, uh, <laughs> Well, uh, please come with me to the churchyard and stay close. Hmm? All right. I don't like this. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right what we're doing you ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box and you won't be the last rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began well like I said well the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that <sighs> I'm sorry his voice is so creepy no I, 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 I want to say not in a mean way, but like in a mean way. No, it does. It, I feel like that's a mean okay. statement to say. You head on in the church. I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Oh my god, that's Jesus. what he sounds like. Salad fingers. Put jewels in there that she don't need. Side insult. <laughs> I feel bad, but it's true. Rusty spoon. Oh damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and, and I'll wait. Right I do here. not trust this dude. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be. Get out of here, kids. Move. I'll, I'm on. in to charm them. You missed your chance, boy. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. I, I, I did mean a, a charm the other two, but uh, 
For some reason, I ran after them, and I do not know what happened. Watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, exhumation. Stand guard. I don't trust this dude. I'm standing guard. What do you want me to do? Jesus. Oh. Good day, more ma'am. Morning, morning, ma'am. Don't know what happened there. Off you go now. Go, go. Go, go. 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 Bit further. Bit further. Well then. Oh no. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Stranger. Oh, there, uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time to. The place was in need of some care and attention. One of my series just activated and it was scary, especially since it was my phone and I don't know what one it was. Look at me. I got my sheriff badge on. I'm just sitting here. I'm patrolling. Except I'm not really doing any patrolling. I'm just standing here and I'm watching out and I think these two are going to come up and I'm I, they, they seem scary to interact with for some reason. They are gonna start a fight. Hey, look, we're closed for some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. I really don't want to antagonize them. If I just stand here, maybe they won't walk past. Am I gonna have to antagonize them? Can this Gwen dude just hurry up? Oh my god, gosh. Are you boys gonna need the dog! The you hear this fella? I heard him all right. Oh my god, gosh. gosh. Oh my god, gosh. gosh. This was not- I was not supposed to do this. I should've- I don't actually know how to do either. Let's go, Mr. I did not do anything. No, please just parse out. There are gonna be there's a dude there watching. I really hope that nobody saw that. Hope this hole's dug. Because that is embarrassing. Oh my god, I knew we had to check on coin. Oh wait, I, maybe he didn't go in. All this time I thought he actually went inside, but maybe he didn't. All right, well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. <laughs> well, this will do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. Me do. Me do. Sorry. There are two strangers. Do y'all mind if I just focus on a bit more of the story for now? Because I know- Um, I obviously- I don't mind that it's taking- Apparently it's taking me a bit longer to get through it. Which I don't mind personally. Um, I'm so sorry dude. But I do kind of just- I don't know, I'm- You know when you just get on a roll with the main missions? And then you kind of just- just that's all you want to do i'm in that type of mood and whilst i am i do kind of just yeah. want to do some of the main missions because there are 17 i think and i've only done like five i believe so there are still 12 left we're still going to be in roads for a while the story is starting to pick up now which i'm actually pretty grateful of because I did like the intro to the game. I think it was a nice steady start. I'm gonna leave them, that is a prisoner, nothing to do with me. Um, I did enjoy the slow start, I think it was a good introduction to a game, but it, it kinda, in a way, felt more like a life simulator, if 
that makes sense. Not on Life Simulator, but hopefully you know what I mean. And now that the story's starting to pick up, I'm getting so much more interested in it, and I just really want to play it and find out what happens. Hello? Oh, Hosea, with the moonshine. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Oh my god, the Charm Mars. Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it, they must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. Oh my God, no, I'm not Joan. I love I'll John Marston. To it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So what exactly? Oh, is that where Bo is? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. Romeo and Juliet. Well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? I thought that was homestead. Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. Oh, uh, who said you could just hop on the back there? Rude. We'll be watching you. Okay. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. <laughs> Driver, excuse me. I'm not a butler. Oh my god, they're actually following me as well. Widows. <laughs> I saved them. <laughs> they're just protecting the place. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought. But maybe you was in the market for it. I definitely oh, did not. Some liquor well, ain't in the market for it's already place mine. For this. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Oh, she's scary. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. And listen... Uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. Why, yes, that you is true. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the run stuff out the for free. Come on. Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional experience. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. God, this isn't going to play out too fun, is it? Uh, I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. Ooh. Wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. Oh, not bad at all. Apparently, 
Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Yeah. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood few. Yeah, I think this is bad. We'll need something. I ain't playing, Jess. <laughs> you know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. I'll say it, please. <laughs> I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Hey, what about you? <laughs> you can't speak. You turned idiot. Right. But Broke poor mammy's heart. They already know me. I'm yeah, pretty sure. There, there, don't get mad now. Norman, whatever. I'm doing something to do with them. What is the issue here? <laughs> nice way. Well, I never felt comfortable in the fancy ones, though. I've messed up. Oh, thank you for moving back. I, for some reason, can't. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you Oh, my so. badge is gone. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> I feel like they're gonna recognize me. Oh no, separately. We just okay. in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. <laughs> One more dollar. <laughs> Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Just hand out the liquor. Go behind the bar? Okay. Gentlemen! Gentlemen, my name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Oh, oh my God. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have one, Vince. Uh, race class. Race board. Oh, oh, I actually have to do it myself. That is not fun. That's some strong stuff. See, it won't catch you, so keep them coming. So drink up. Don't be shy, boys. Don't be shy. This is evil. I put a lot of focus into that, okay. 
going on my resume. <laughs> Bartender. <laughs> I don't know when I'm meant to like start it. Good evening, gentlemen. Oh. Quiet libation. You, me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump. We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Oh my god, no. Is Jose gonna get oh. shot? Oh my god, he's like out. Wait, no. This. That shit. What this? Oh my god. You're dead man. Am I? You ain't going oh, I need a can you just give me a second? I just need a e something. Whack him, Arthur! You bloody idiot! He's shooting! Like he's being really weak. It's not allowing me to aim. Where are you? It's genuinely being very weird. I'm pressing L2 and R2, aiming, shooting, and it's just not working. Lock on aim doesn't seem to want to work that well either. I think I just killed that horse. I didn't mean to. Oh. I'm 
so sorry, Horse. Damn it, I was hoping that it would, he would get run over by the train. Too smart, I guess. I almost sacrificed the horse. Really rude. Oh, yeah. oh, I feel like bad up this now. Why am I so dirty? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Alright, we're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. <laughs> What was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. I don't know how to have a bar at camp. So, what do you think? Susan made me do it, and About I don't what? know how. <laughs> Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. I said Romeo and exactly. Juliet. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them. Oh, both. God. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Sean? Sure. Now, you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Oh my god. To do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Hey, back. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Oh, so do we, as like the player, get a choice but to choose between the two then? Between joining um, I think I John and Javier and Hosea and Sean. I don't know who I'd want to go with. I love them both. I don't know. I also want to check out how I can have a bar. Like, um, it's saying I have to go to a hotel, but can I really be asked to do that? Or I can go in the water. Have a nice swim, Arthur. Oh my god, look, I'm clean again. 
you believe it? Oh my god, look at I think that did that. I don't know. Uh, Bill needs to speak to you, okay? And I was not finished reading. Dutch told you to meet up with Hosea and Sean at Braithwaite Manor while they intact themselves. Or oh, John Marston. Dutch told you to meet up at John at Javier. It's the greatest place, something to do with Braithwaite. Prize horses. Oh, so we have to do both, I'm guessing. Let's go to speak with Bill. Hey, Arthur! No, you're Bob. Where's Bill? What I was going to say, that does not look like Bill. <laughs> we got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I going to like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? I hit the goddamn bank with Oh, us. my God. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? <laughs> is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay. I suppose it's worth taking. I don't really have a it. choice. I'm but... gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Sure, you have. For some Mr. reason. Mr. Morgan. No, I don't feel like you've done man. any. Oh. The debtor, Thomas Stoltz. Apparently, he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, then he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. <gasps> What's the plan Oh my gosh, she looks oh, great. We're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> All right, follow me. I feel like Bill's competing with me in horses. Oh, mm, actually, yeah, kinda. Although I'm always better, Bill. So don't don't even bother. You don't even come close. Tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can once the shooting starts. Well. That's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we Jesus can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What do you think? I wish Sadie was coming with that. I don't know. Fellers always like a lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. Need a work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, is it? And did Dutch is tell you I've also sofa? been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. It seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of iron. Fire right now. 
Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back. Are we going Valentine? all the way back to Valentine? Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up. It's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this the one. one. We'll see about that. Bison. Once things Whatever. get going. So, thinking this through. Rob Cornwall's train. We shoot a heap of his men in Valentine. We rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this! Let's get it done first. I already did my bounty, paid it off, so it's not too bad. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's gotta keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine's. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. That will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. It wasn't actually as far as I thought it would be. I thought it was a little further away. Mm. Although I'm gonna have to pay off my bounty again here. Jesus. How's my honor looking? It's okay. Could be better. I guess. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> that was really weird. Hello. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. Whoa! Let's go, boy. Why'd you want me to mount my horse? Okay, fine. Alright, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Karen, go to work. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellas. I was gonna say, this isn't the bank. This is the shop where we bought the rifle from. Oh. So many fond memories of being here. So, we never decided. Wow. Is it lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot? Hmm. Lost girl. Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? He'd break my heart. 
I really do. Is she acting? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's got them real down. Would you care to? I was child, and it's I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Get your goddamn right. hands up! Go. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! No word up! Nobody move! I don't want to kill him. Unlock the door. Who? Me. Babes, who are you speaking to? It's unlocked. We're good. Oh, okay, me. Fine. Well, you're probably speaking to Karen. Oh, you think we're here? Come on. Open the goddamn vault. Open the goddamn it. Archer. Archer. He's already opening it, so it's fine. How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on! Okay. Okay. Come there on, dude. Go. I don't want to beat you. If I wait long enough, maybe I won't have to. Come on, dude. I believe in you. Oh, I feel like... Okay. And he did it anyway. Lord Arthur. I'm in! Someone come make sure the suit behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I, uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I. God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Crack them. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you <sighs> better be quick. <laughs> You shut the hell up and stay still! Wait, I actually have to do it? I wish I just opted to blow them up now. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along! I'm trying, ma'am. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. That is way Who too are you long. Up in there? Please, let me go. I won't say nothing. I swear. Uh, I actually have to do it for all of them. Can I just change my mind? How are you getting off? I'm going as fast as I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. We're getting there. A few more minutes. Oh my god, he's actually counting with his fingers. That's so cool. I'll keep a lookout at the door. Okay, three more to go. Four. How's it looking there? Four thousand though. Good. Told ya. Don't count your chickens just yet. There isn't like a, a note with the numbers running down or something. Oh, is it only like the, the double numbers? Oh, I don't know. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. Yeah, it's never enough. Well. I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Oh no. It's not. This is actually very hard. We want loot it, loot. Last one. Good. We gotta move. God. Okay, it's all gonna kick off after this. Mm. 
think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That should be happy. Even if How much did, did I get? Of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> no, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> Takes the coat off. This is down. Where did it put me back to? Oh, I have to. It's telling me to do something. Edith Downs. Okay. Yeah. Didn't like that. Don't we know Edith Downs? The name sounds very familiar. Oh god, it's gonna make me. Oh, I hate this. I need to get to a post office as soon as possible and pay off my bounty. Although, I still don't know how much money I have. Should be enough, right? To pay it off. I don't know what this is for though. I'm slightly confused. not cold in the ground and you've come back here aren't you i nearly paid off what was owed Your oh knew i know the rules is, yeah. when he took that money now i'm real sorry about the way things turned out but he had a choice ain't my fault about the way the world is he didn't have a choice he was good and he did good there wasn't no choice in that and you've as good as killed him yourself and don't kid yourself you had a choice you speak as if killing was something i cared about you ever wonder about eternity should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. <laughs> you best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, oh, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. Next to God, would not just say it? that. That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Can it ride me back? Like, can it do it for me? Cause... Continue on with the cutscene. Continue on. Don't give me control. Yes, I like this. Keep it going. Keep it going. I wish there was a way, I know you can fast travel, but I wish there was a way like you could get um, the game to do it, this for itself, if that makes sense. Like if you want to go do a mission, but however far away it is, I wish you could just like click it and then just bim and it just bim and bim. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> it looks so pretty. Is it sunset? And he's hitching the horse for me. Oh my, oh my, oh my god. Oh my good girl girl. That, that is a lot of money. Let's look at some of the upgrades. We can do. Oh, <gasps> CD! My girl, my. Hey there. My girl. Good evening, Arthur. Good evening, good evening, ma'am. Only just. Oh, uh, he ain't that bad. Sure. <laughs> evening, Arthur. Evening. What did you want me to do? Give all debts? Yeah. I 
Okay. Ledger. Uh, let's see. I guess we can do that. How you doing? Good, thanks. Good. Okay. I think that's all done now. Oh, I can't purchase any more of the restocks on the food. Perhaps I have to do the rest then. I just, oh, I don't see the point in doing that because I don't get, um, Mr. Pearson to craft me anything. Hmm. Give, well, I'll give these guys. And then... I'll give money as well. There you are, Dutch. Oh, wow. That looks so pretty. I might. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. You can have that. <laughs> that might just make my honor go up. So, should I give it a thousand? I kind of want to give a thousand. So... 228, I think. I feel like that should be right. Maybe not. No. Ah, I was one out. One dollar out. There we go. <laughs> Had to be exact. Now we can get him going to sleep. Oh my god. Whoops. I couldn't be in finer fettle. Good for you. Till morning. Morning town. Whew. That was a lot. I feel like that was a lot for some reason. <laughs> oh, we have a new we have a new journal entry. Braithwaite Manor. Moonshine. I've met some charming women in my time. Catherine Braithwaite, the mother hen to that particular bunch of roosters, ain't one of them. A sour old jug of oh my god and oh my god I ain't ever met. Even Hosea's charms were lost upon her. She refused our offer of selling her back her shine and instead got us to give it away to annoy the saloon owners in town. Hosea put on quite a show until we got interrupted by the guys we robbed when Hank when grabbing the stuff. We just about escaped. On the other hand, I met this poor grey boy, Bo. And his forbidden love, Miss Penelope. Quite the most alive creature we have met down here. Suddenly I'm marching as a suffragette. The looks of loathing on the faces of the locals delighted me, while their leader, a Mrs. Callahan, amused me. I don't know much about good causes nor the joys of democracy, but I enjoyed my little experience riding alongside them. World is certainly changing fast. Look at Arthur. Oh my god. We have Jose and Chorn. Chorn Marston. I don't know why I say it like that, it's just fun. Chorn Marston. Let's go do his mission. I know, I still really want to go fishing with Kieran. I just... I don't know, I want to progress on the story a bit oh, now. Just because I'm so interested to know what happens with it. I don't want to rush it. I just, I don't know, I'm in the mood to like find out more. Hmm. It's another mission with Dutch as well. Okay, so I guess at the time when we were doing like the whole moonshine mission, it was okay that I used a gun because I wasn't acting as sheriff deputy because my badge wasn't on. Um, but now that I am again, I can't use guns. Which I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. Where are they waiting? Can 
Can I help you there? Sure. We're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. <laughs> yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. A wonderful day. I like my Texas accent has improved ever so slightly. It's still terrible. But I don't know, I feel like I can hold it for a lot longer now. Good men. Like you. You don't know me. Are you hurting Bo? And you're helping no. everybody. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I always seem to come in at just the right time. Sure. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaite's? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. So over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. I feel good about keep us horses. away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Why'd you get so close to him? Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Passing you. Oh, you got oh my, John, John Marston. I do not appreciate it. Where are we going? Oh, we're going this way. Okay. I'm. So oh my. What was the thing? Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. They're there already. They better keep their heads down. You don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. If we get even a third of that, it'd huh? be worth it. I wish with stuff like this there was a way to Because otherwise, this. I don't know Place which way to well turn. Guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. <laughs> we should go in the back way, though. Or what are too you many doing? questions. I'm so sorry, Heavy. I have no clue where I'm going. Okay? Calm down. I'm the big Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A well, then you're done. make a significant <laughs> investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let... Head on up to the That's table. what I thought, sir. Someone will come see you. <laughs> this is one him over. Yeah. Trample him with all of this. <laughs> so I can't get over how pretty this place is. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Who are you speaking to? Don't want to draw any 
any unnecessary attention. Maybe he's speaking to me, like breaking the fourth wall, but not breaking the fourth wall. Alright, I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. Head around the front, hitch up there. <laughs> Did Happy right, make that noise? Hitch up here. Whoa! I feel like a gunfight's gonna happen. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. <laughs> Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! <laughs> I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs, available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from... Uh, oh, it's Saratoga. like my horse. Except they look smaller. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable. Kill? Uh, greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. Alright, I'll grab Pulls the out. one in the yeah. middle. You get the other two. You're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Uh, Sorry. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Okay, boy. Come on. Oh my good boy, gosh. It's okay. I think it's worked up again, so. Easy, boy. Oh god. Why is this so difficult? What? what? No, no, okay. I, it, it wasn't working. It wasn't working. Alright, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Arthur, approach the damn horse, I swear to god. Relax, boy. Come on. Do I need to cut his hair short again? Hey, easy now. Whoa, easy. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Take it easy there. Whoa. Easy. This horse just doesn't want to calm down, apparently. It's okay. Okay. Wait. Marston, you right point. God, Arthur. The if there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick. Get going, you two. I want to. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! Oh, do I have to Stop shoot some people? Oh, God. I'm just gonna follow them. Look out ahead! They're coming out of the field! Oh god, I don't wanna shoot anyone unless I absolutely have to. Watch it! There's guards by that way! Oh no, the poor crops! Look there! The fence is down! Come on! 
Oh, Javier died. Oh, well, I'm not controlling Javier, so I would not know his health limit. Stupid. I guess I have to kill them. More coming this way. Out of the field. Oh, that decreased my honor. Perhaps I should have waited, you know, till I was in the clear. That's really annoying. We'll have to go through the fields. Look there, the fence is down. Come on, see if we can get rid of them in the trees. I don't get what it wants me to do. How do you want me to protect Javier? I'm not playing Javier. Okay, Javier is died. Okay. My health is fine now. Do I have to like take cover for him or something? Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Come here. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> <laughs> this horse. I'm on. You think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses? I guess we'll see. Yeah, that looks like an awful lot. And there are only three of them, so I don't... Whoa. I don't know. Come here. Hi. Why is my horse running away? What you boys want? Heard you was... Uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, kind of Javier. <clears throat> so what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> You're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Ew. Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Uh, sure. Yeah. I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 650 for them. <laughs> A lot less than 5000 I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. 
And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. I just don't know who told you that. I like you, boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. <laughs> ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but now nice I think we do by now, right? In the See savings? you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. That'll take 700. Oh, we can sell. I don't want to. I don't want to sell horses. I don't know. It doesn't seem right. <laughs> Selling the horses. Oh, I believe there are some chores to do. It was fun going out and working with you, Arthur. I've seen too many friends get killed to see it as quite so fun. Hi, Tilly. Well, I'd rather be shot for an outlaw than hang for a thief. <laughs> Reckon it's about the same in the end. Maybe. Anyway, it was fun. <laughs> Safe cracking wasn't fun. <laughs> Hmm. Of course, you'd find it fun. You didn't have to do any work. <sighs> it's so pretty. Careful. Do a man cut his toe clean off chopping. You do not have to tell me that whilst I'm doing this. Sadie! I always see Sadie. I always see her. I always find her. I'm just trying to um think of how many missions we've done, just so I know how much time left I have. Of chapter three. Uh, how many have we done in this part? I think we've done like three. Maybe. I can't tell. I can't remember. We did the safe cracking. Leopold Strauss's I don't think counts, so we did the safe cracking, which was Bill's. We did that one just now, obviously, which is two. I don't think we did another one. Or did we? I genuinely can't remember. Um... But I think there are 17 missions. Do you think I've done seven so far? Maybe not. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. Look at the girls hanging out. Hey, for lunch, hey? God, I would love to. Where? Is this like, I'm gonna sound so dumb saying this. Is this like a real place though? Like I, I, I know, I'm real Jay. I know, I'm pretty sure this is like, this is set in America. Obviously he's Texas, Texan. I think he is anyway. He's Southern at least, he's got the accent. Uh, But, like, what I'm trying to say is, like, does this place actually exist with the actual scenery? That's what I'm trying to get at. Don't know why I decided to complicate the matter. But, hey yeah. Is it 500 miles or 5,000 miles? And I will walk 500 miles. I feel like it's 500. Maybe it's not. Also, 
I I have pre-ordered uh, Horizon Forbidden West, but the collector's edition. So uh, it's kind of like as one of my birthday presents because it comes out around my birthday time, and I'm very very happy and excited for that. I'm so excited for that game. I've loved playing. Um, I loved playing Horizon Zero Dawn. I think it was so much fun. It was definitely challenging. Definitely a new type of game for me. I haven't really... I don't think I really played a game like that before it. And so the machines were definitely very difficult to get a hang of. <laughs> and it was kind of annoying that like every few minutes there were new machines. But it's pretty easy to sneak past them. I think when you, once you realise that you don't have to kill all of them, like every single machine you come across, it, it's pretty easy to sneak past them. But um, I actually, because I'm trying to get back into the controls, obviously to get better for when Horizon Forbidden West comes out, I tried playing it on the PS4 just because I don't really have any more storage left on my PS5. Uh, what are you doing so far, I don't like it. Seems as good a place as any to get in this by the Lord. Arthur. My mama was a slave until she was 15 years old, Arthur. I'll keep you safe, miss. You have my word. Can I get the hay? Um. See, so yeah, I've been trying to play it and I ended up moving my save data over to my PS4 and downloading Thank Horizon Forbidden are. West on there and I think I've come to realise I don't like the DualShock controller anymore and I find that really sad because uh, in all I bet them horses sure appreciate that. Oh Karen I loved uh, PS4 was like my first console. It's not like I, I... I don't know. I think because I have so many... Oh my god. Increasing honor. Because I have so many games uh, to play and I want to do playthroughs of them, I don't really get to play any games by myself anymore. Morning. Uh, just because I want to share the experience because it's something that I really love doing. It's just, um, it's kind of like a shame that, in a sense, I'm not really able to play any games by myself. I'm on my ground of playthrough of The Last of Us 2 right now. It's the last thing I need to platinum it entirely. I'm 99%, 97% of it platinumed. I'm just, I've done permadeath playthrough, got all the trophies and stuff like that for the main game. I'm just doing ground it. So I have that at least, and I, t I play that sometimes, but again, uh, I usually spend a lot of the time editing, but I it's it, I don't want it to seem like I'm complaining, because I'm not trying to. Uh, I didn't want to do that. I'm not trying to complain, I'm just, I'm saying that it's kind of a shame. Yeah, what I was saying, I was playing something. I was facing oh yeah. So I moved Horizon Zero Dawn over to my PS4 and yeah, basically I don't like the DualShock controller anymore. I don't know what it is. I just I can't I can't get my head around it. I don't know. I just I don't really like it. I don't. I I I, I have to admit I don't like it. I'm just so bad at using it and that's so sad to me because I mean, as I was saying, I do love that control a lot, whatever. Whatever. Um, yeah. I feel like actually I need to give him a haircut again. Maybe not. Oh, I can only- okay, it's fine. I can't even do it here anyway. Oh my god, imagine if I got his head, that short by accident. Whoops. Would not mean to do that. 
But anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. I tried doing a lot in this part and I hope you really enjoyed it. I found it very fun. I found it very fun. I always say that, but I don't know. I feel like I need to clarify. I think it's good to clarify things and I really, really did enjoy it. We got a load of more money now. We got a load more money. We have the Dutch mission to do next and next time we'll do the Dutch mission we'll do go meet who is it who do we need to meet sorry Hosea who I get so confused between Strauss and Hosea we'll go meet Hosea and Sean at the I think are they at the Greys they're at the Greys no no they're at the Braithwaters aren't they they're at the Braithwaters mansion so Braithwaite's mansion so we'll go there and we'll help them out and we'll do that part of the mission I don't know what Dutch's mission is but we have that and then next time I also want to go and do the other collecting the debt for Strauss that's it those those names and I really do want to try and fit fishing with Kieran in I don't know what it is I just I don't really like the fishing but maybe it'll be fun maybe maybe it'll be fun I'll have to try and fit that in before we go uh onto chapter four but anyway I'm gonna leave it there thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next part of Red Dead Redemption 2 okay bye